On the one hand, I'm so happy that a dream became true. On the other hand, I feel now the burden also to shine and to really show the people it was worth all the money to put into this, right? So it's also a responsibility, I feel. It is His Majesty King Willem Alexander who opened the Brains Unlimited Institute in Maastricht. Before opening the institute, Martin Paul, president of the Maastricht University, explained the king and the audience what Brains Unlimited is about. Followed by a round table discussion about the process and development of Brains Unlimited and its added value for the region. Yes, because as I said in my speech today, it is really a building block, the first building block of the so-called knowledge axis, what we do here in Maastricht will also be followed up by things we do in Sittard, Trelenau, Camelot and up to the north to Venlo. The king also made a tour where he got some very detailed information about the biggest working scanner in the world, the Tesla 9.4. In, in, in normal hospitals, yeah. how can you help to support them? Uh, it will allow much more accurate... With this huge and advanced scanner, from which there are only four in the whole world, Brains Unlimited and the Faculty of Psychology and Neuroscience will be world-leading in brain research. There are only a few centers worldwide who can compete with what we have here in Maastricht. We go beyond most uh, labs uh, with our brain research uh, because with this high resolution it's a bit like you have a new Hubble Space Telescope and suddenly you see, see stars, you see uh, uh, galaxies, which you couldn't see with the Earth's normal one. So we see just further than most people in the world now. And it's exciting because we, we enter unknown territory. We will see structures of the brain organizations at a, at a scale which no one has seen before. You have to see that a higher resolution helps us also to diagnose things earlier. You will see uh, multiple sclerosis, cortical foci earlier. You will see um, for, for, for some cancer uh, forms, you will see this better and earlier and can help earlier and, and that can be extending your life substantially if you do it early. Uh, and same with Alzheimer's. With the Tesla 9.4, the Brain Institute, Brains Unlimited, completed her whole range of scanners, from the Tesla 3 and the Tesla 7, the so-called whole body scanners, to the 9.4 brain scanner. Innovation is something we cannot do as a company alone. You need these special projects and these special partners that uh, are always working at the edge of the current technology and they want to move beyond the edge, they want to move forward. Similar as we want, we want to move forward as well. So it's very important to work together worldwide with organizations like the Brains Unlimited. To see the uh, indications for diseases where there is a clear advantage of seven Tesla. Apart from the advanced MRI scanners and the possibilities to see how brain functions even in detail, Brains Unlimited is also about fundamental and applied research and international education. The opening marks also a new step in the future of the Faculty of Psychology and Neuroscience. You also see that uh, it attracts many students also from different areas. What we now have is an international intake, basically 50% come from all the places, from Europe and global. And, and that's because uh, events like this, for example, attract the attention, saying oh, what's going on down there in Maastricht. And yes, they offer great programs. Actually, I think we offer uh, the best programs you can have in psychology and neuroscience worldwide. Maybe you wouldn't expect this, but these scanners are actually for rent for researchers, institutes and companies from around the whole world. We have this technology, our aim is to become self-sustaining, to cover our running costs and for both researchers from Maastricht but also researchers from outside, we charge an hourly tariff and that tariff gets them time on the scanner but also the expertise to be able to design their projects and to acquire their data successfully. I think the unique aspect we have here is this combination of world-leading technology and an open access approach that we're allowing people who aren't residents in the facility to come and use it whenever they want. Would you say this is a really very important step for the whole university? Yes indeed, because as a university we have chosen some areas where we really want to be world class. And this is one of them because it attracts not only other good people but also businesses. And that's very important because our ultimate goal is to increase the number of knowledge workers in our region. And secondly, it's a research field which builds bridges also to other faculties. 
because programs are really interdisciplinarity that run here. It's psychology with economics, medicine with law, and that's a bit the future structure that we envisage.